Ukraine continue its strikes on Russian territory as a revenge for the attack on the Children's Hospital in Kyiv. A drone attack on the Rostovska substation in Yudino, Rostov region, resulted in at least two transformers burning down. According to Russian sources, residents of the district will be without electricity for three days. The partisan movement Atesh burned down a relay cabinet on the railway section between Rostov-on-Don and Mariupol near the city of Shakti. This is one of the main railway lines in the region, linking Russia and Ukraine's Donetsk region, and is actively used for transporting military equipment and personnel. The moment a Ukrainian FPV hit the substation in Sudza. and Russians are hunted on the battlefields too. Direct hit to a Russian T-90M in the Zaporizhzhia region by what looks to be a 155mm bonus round. Remarkable footage of a Ukrainian howitzer dropping a Bofors Nexter bonus 155mm smart munition on a Russian tank. The munition spins down, acquires the T-90M, and fires a lance of molten metal through the roof of the Russian tank. a mixture of cluster shells and kamikaze drones on a Russian assault group. A veteran with a prosthesis dismantles blockages in the Okhmatet Hospital. The man's name is Artem Grot. He was a soldier of the Ukrainian Special Operations Forces. There are 17 people dead and 41 injured in Kyiv after the Russian attacks, said the military administration. Russian terrorism in act. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi visited Moscow yesterday. The pre-planned strike on the Children's Hospital in Kyiv was a planned backdrop created on purpose. Modi, of course, was not warned about this. Why would the Kremlin do this? To show its strength and impunity, and to make the guest complicit. It's a long tradition of Russian hospitality, blood money. The only reaction Narendra Modi made to the Russian act of terror in Ukraine were these general words. 
India has always called for respecting the UN Charter, including territorial integrity and sovereignty. There is no solution on the battlefield. Dialogue and diplomacy is the way forward. The CEO of a Russian defense contractor has been arrested over the alleged theft of 2 billion rubles, $22.6 million, in relation to the supply of bulletproof vests to Russian forces fighting in Ukraine. It's the latest in a long series of Russian military procurement scandals. Andrei Ezipov, the general director of the Pickett Group of Companies, the group's financial director Victoria Antonova, and its security chief Mikhail Kalchenko, were arrested in April 2024 on suspicion of especially large-scale theft in the supply of bulletproof vests. The three have been in pre-trial detention in advance of a hearing in June, when they were all charged with fraud under Article 159 of the Criminal Code of the Russian Federation. All three pleaded not guilty and claimed that the case had been fabricated. According to the main investigative department of the Investigative Committee of the Russian Federation, roughly equivalent to the FBI, the three stole 2 billion rubles while fulfilling a military contract to supply 20,040 bulletproof vests to the Russian Ministry of Defense. The investigators are reported to have found that the customer, having overpaid, received products that did not meet the terms of the contract. It's likely that this involved commonly used scams, such as substituting cheap components and pocketing the difference in cost, or submitting inflated estimates for the cost of the contract. Esipov claims that the case was based on data provided by former employees of his own company who were convicted of large-scale theft and fired. They were subsequently investigated criminally. Subsequently, he claims, the former employees began to threaten him with criminal prosecution, demanding compensation in the amount of 300 million rubles, 3.4 million dollars. The money claimed to have been stolen by the trio is said to have been used to buy stakes in a car repair firm and a property management company, and firms selling tobacco products and home goods stores, as well as to buy land and a Moscow business center. Russia's military procurement system is riddled with scams. Corruption is frequent and has been on such a large scale that it has been widely blamed for many of Russia's military deficiencies. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you want to support Warthog Defense, please become our member and get early access to new videos, exclusive members only videos, and become administrator in comment section. The membership link is in the description. Rescues. Every day we had a guy last week at six rescues in six days. You know, he's doing the job every day.